Hey guys, back again to new video. This is Sampath. You're watching Sampath Sanfix YouTube channel, guys. And this is Xiaomi Mi Learn X or the Redmi K40 or the favorite Poco F3, guys. This is how the smartphone here. And this is the ROM I'm using here. Let me disable this automatic brightness sensor. In order to do that, I need to rearrange this one. See, I just added here, but I need to keep it here. Yeah. And lock screen location nfc that's only applicable for poco f3 or redmi k40 but for me Linux indian variants it will not going to work because it's not available only dolby atmos sync option reading mode other than that vibration mode the yeah, other than that i didn't feel anything i felt didn't felt anything here to be added anyhow these things are required now i need to disable this location axis yeah now this automatic brightness sensor vibration settings yeah this is the quick settings toggle looks like in the hyper os it doesn't seem like a hyper os quick settings toggles yes go to settings and these are the settings looks like it is smooth definitely the version of the uh ui that's going to explain right now hyper os xiaomi 1.0.3.0 ultc and xm by mme tma is being uh, making this particular rom from long time for the Mi 11x now and this is very good here and you can see the specifications here into detail information specifications again uh, android version is 14 here kernel user is 4.19.273 vxk kernel has been used baseband version you can see this is the latest build guys 1.0.3.0 is out on march 6th that's the build available as of now and smoothness in the ui is still present and this is uh, hyperos customizations like show am pm if you want that you can enable that but for some reason yeah it is available or not yeah now it's available you guys can see on the top of this screen yeah change notch type to uh, circle it is available saturn heart mickey mouse let's make heart yeah again i'll close here not trying that much Oh, change a notch type heart mickey mouse where the notch will be shown i don't know let's wait for some more time yeah that's been enabled here rounded tiles if you want you can enable add two big tiles again bluetooth plus flashlight hotspot you can enable that disable flags max fps in all apps just enable that enable aosp clipboard overlay i don't want that show whether if you want whether you can do that system here reboot to available that one extended power menu again ios like dynamic island dynamic island that is present switch to hyper os device specs yeah change app world ios status bar again it reverts back to themes anyhow let me do one thing i'll restart it before that let's check this dynamic island here yeah it's look like that silent mode is off anyhow will reboot here you get advanced restart button to here and will directly reboot the system here and by the way if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like guys i'll be making similar kind of videos on xiaomi me learnings i have made many videos check out my dedicated playlist is available for me learnings you can check out their videos and other tech related videos also been made and join the whatsapp group for dedicated to this smartphone only there is a whatsapp group link is in the description for that you can join there and this is the boot logo what we can get here see the booting time also here guys and a flashing method is also given in the description you can check out there yeah after rebooting now the symbol is changed to heart which is very good in my opinion really really great if you can guys notice or not yeah let me do one thing i'll zoom that yeah now even zooming that yeah this how it looks like the heart shape really really cool these features are and other options you guys can see now we'll change the settings actually we'll go into detailed info and specifications here nothing has been changed i don't know what changed that was made anyhow 
this is how the ui change what we can see here and other settings i have already explained in the previous video again i am going to explain that don't worry wallpapers and personalization you get this lock screen customization this is android uh, 40 sorry me hyper os uh, styles guess select one among them i like to select this one no, this one yeah select this and customize them make some depth effect filter you can make uh, this one meta effect no no meta effect depth okay that's not applicable if you apply the filter that is not applicable here anyhow we'll make into apply here turn on the always on display and then only these things work let me show the lock screen here as you can see how good the lock screen here really really good let me again yeah the face unlock is also very quick as you can see it's unlocked actually yeah always on display features you get these kind of options always you get that option many people like to have that option here and there are plenty of presets here if you want to keep your own image that also can be possible from this particular room fonts again you get me sans pro and other things you can re revert back to theme section here effects you get these options whenever you get a notification you can keep these effects notification status bar again show connection speed if you want to check the internet connection speed i'm using here 200 mps atl fiber connection and battery integrator make it outside the icon if you don't want you can completely hide that control center style if you want to go back to uh, older style like this you can still make that out why the bluetooth is turned on let's turn it off okay new version this is how it is the hyper os control center is here smart device control me smart up smart home make it none then the room is cleared here that's how it is and we'll come back here again home screen customization are too many with light mode if you want you can do that classic you can do and manage app categories you can do that you can custom category also you can make that group icons by color and animation in color categories you can make it out minus one screen you get google discover and app world that's it and had a sorry hide app icons are also given and home screen layout you get up to six into seven don't show text off anywhere on widgets you can enable that system navigation gestures are given if you revert back to buttons it will be available animation speed you get three options here arrange items and recents go to horizontal here show memory status blur app previews for certain apps you can enable from here now you guys can see this is how it looks memory status you can see horizontal you can make it out ios kind of style is missing here maybe in upcoming builds they can add it's clean and clean hyper is uh, that i really like it anyhow that is there sorry I was, here you might get that options uh, i have seen that i was kind of uh, this one recent apps anyhow maybe missing in this build i don't know because i uh, seeing this particular roms from plenty of roms actually i'm confused anyhow display and brightness again you get these options here smooth and transitions and sunlight mode color scheme again keep it saturated myself make it warm but to look a little bit better in this video i'm making default refresh rate default is available in the custom mode you get 60 90 and 120 hertz make it default adaptive refresh rate this is and sound and touch you get all the necessity sound settings even in the additional settings you get these things uh, sound effects you get uh, dolby atmos presets graphic equalizer harman kardon audio support and that's it these are the sound settings fingerprint face unlock will be showing you that fingerprint unlock is very quick as you can see it's very fast and accurate but you need to change in the settings that it has been let me show the face unlock and i'll change it as you can see face unlock is very much quick just see how fast the face unlock is in the fingerprint unlock just use the button and see here make it touch then it will be even faster than what you can expect just touch gets unlocked even in the face unlock you can remove this stay on the lock screen now it is blazing first can you see that yes it is how the unlocking speeds in this particular wrong guys 
uh, privacy and security some of them are region specific here the apps and battery settings here you get four different modes i have been keep on telling performance mode for gaming balance for every usage battery saver only if you have very less juice in the battery and ultra battery saver don't use that only to show off that's it <laughs> additional settings again here plenty of options accessibility menu is here vision hearing physical and gesture shortcuts you can assign the shortcuts from here plenty of options are been given you just assign one among them back tap gesture again double tap fingerprint gesture also you can enable from here quick ball feature let me enable that again you can select the shortcuts here as you can see this how it's a handy feature no one uses it but once you start using it it will be a very handy feature clear speaker option has been given screen recorder again you get these options only 1080p is the maximum here fps is 90 fps has been given and the front camera assistant has been given you can use that floating windows again it's a handy feature guys sidebar always show will show some yeah we'll use the play store and next next okay i'll keep this here yeah like that you can make it out this kernel is you grant the root permission it's asking that's how you can close this conversation bubbles are turned on memory extension up to 6 gb because my variant is 6 gigabytes variant guys these are the customizations you get in this particular rom guys which is quite good and better here in the previous version there was canvas me canvas application was pre-installed but in this uh, they have removed that in this update anyhow you get this proper hyper uh, camera application with completely filled uh, options here in the settings again picture quality keep it super selfie settings again you can see remove moles those are the options you get in the video mode also there are plenty of customization up to 4k 60 is not available only 30 is available in the more you can download them actually yeah and download them you will be using those things that's the camera and calculator that's how it is some of the uh, applications you can directly uninstall them recorder feature it's also a handy feature and by the way dialer what we get here is the proper me ui one you can directly make the video call and record the calls from here into the settings if you can go okay now you can go into settings here yeah it's available here call recording feature is available you can select some numbers to record automatically or you can enable for every call and in the gallery there are some features like if it is a table available you can recognize table text create pdf copy and even protect the wallpaper like protect the warm image using watermark and rename details adjust options are given this is the geekbench 6 score what i got 1021 is the single score 2545 is the multi score links 4.19.273 is the kernel used and android 14 this is the internet speed what i got using atl fiber connection wi-fi and here hdr 10 support is given and level 1 certified hence watching OTT application is not a problem in this particular room and also the safety net status here you can see basic integrity getting passed and CTS profile match getting passed means you can use all the payment applications like Google Pay, Phone Pay, Yono, USB, any app that is going to work fine no problem and this is rewrite speed test using graphical and numerical this is the result gallery is also updated and animations are also there and this is smooth recent apps if i go show you as you can see the animations are still available here slight jitter i have noticed but it will eventually get reduced once you start using it for a couple of hours guys this how the ui and everything uh vgma is also going to handle in high fs only i have already shown in the previous video you can check out there but as of now this is very much smooth here and one more thing is i try to install the some apps here but uh, what problem i notice here is select the uh, this one yeah we'll check the play store not allowed if i make it allow also there should be sim card installed here as you can see insert your sim card then only you can allow any apps to be installed on your smartphone that you need to keep in mind 
this how the rom guys as of now this is one of the best available uh, rom uh, vn edition i already made that u edition very soon coming but as of now this is very good available for me linux or the poco f3 or the redmi k40 guys if you are still having any uh, questions or queries regarding this particular rom you can comment down in the comment section i recommend you to join the whatsapp group for this particular smartphone guys and that's it if you want to use it as a daily driver you can definitely use it as a daily driver we'll meet you with another interesting video guys until that keep smiling bye bye for now